So as a time of reference, it is 4.49 in the line for Central Park for the first house is all the way to about right over here. I'll check and see what the uh, Last of Us line is like once I make it over there. At least the weather today so far has been a little nicer. It's not too hot right now. Um, not like how it was yesterday, so hopefully the operations will go a little smoother at uh, Central Park location. And just so you are aware, this is where the Central Park location starts. It is right next to the crepe stand. Uh, they really much tell you right up ahead. Stay in Scream area, you have The Last of Us, and then you have Universal Monsters Unmasked. Those are the two houses you can do for this one. Um, you don't have to necessarily do those. Sometimes you can do the Stay in Scream and then sort of chill out and then do the other back houses. But if you want to knock out Last of Us, this is where you're going to head to. All right, so when you come up here, you're gonna go left for Universal Monsters Unmasked, and then you got right for Last of Us. So far, this is where we are at for Last of Us. Not quite sure how this goes. If it goes all the way up on the top, I'll let you know. Looks like Universal Monsters has a slower, longer, no, no, no. Looks like it is a less of a wait, obviously, for Last of Us, it is all of this for Last of Us. Point of reference, it is now 5.23. And again, to move. As you can see, some of the line is moving. And uh, we're gonna start heading towards the house. At least they're queuing it up right now. 5.36, as you can see, and we are near the Central Park Scare Zone. As you can see, there is the plane over there. Um, Still got a little bit of a wait. We're still gonna go all the way over there, back. then back again. Backstage. Oh, backstage, yeah. So the walk all the way up to the house, or at least the queuing of the house. So just to get a reference of everything else, this is how operations work for Stay and Scream at Central Park. All right, not a time reference, but it is 5:39. We now made it up to Springfield. As you can see over there, Springfield. Uh, operations are running smoothly, hopefully. Uh, house opens, what, 545. So we're definitely on track. And as you can see, we gotta go eat all the way is down there is where we go to the house. And yes, you can, if you're waiting in line, you can go over there to go to the restroom. Uh, so yes, you don't have to just hold it time of reference it is now 545 and we are almost almost there right around that corner right up here it's gonna be the last of us entrance and then we got to walk all the way back there and way more queue lines to go to the house As you can see that sign says house opens at 545 it is now 548 we're going into last of us and as a reference, if you don't know, this is where you're going to head backstage. You're going to go all the way down there. Um, I've heard from multiple people that have done this house already. This queue line is not in our favor. It's, it's very long. It's very rough. So knock this out early and then don't come back. She's like, leave me alone. Yeah, I, know. I don't know those weird people. Oh, they're weird for this. And that is... The Darkest Tale. So, uh, Express and Standby have to stand in the same line up until a certain point. Then obviously you kind of, you know, you merge into one, but right now we're all kind of still in the same line, whether you have Express or not, up until this point. Then now you do the split where you have Standby and you have Express. I kid you not, you're looking at, I don't know, a thousand barricades right now. Uh, it's like a, it's like the craziest maze of these things. Look at this. Wow. Holy crap. That is all the line right there. Whew. So frame of reference, that is where the queue line goes for the house. And we still have all this to go over there. And 
then we have all the way down there, all the way down there, and all the way of this over here. It's now 6.33. I feel like we're never gonna go through this house as far as the vlogging. All right, 6.43. We finally made it almost to the awning and we're on the home stretch of the house is right up ahead, right there. Almost there, almost there. In case you're wondering, Monsters actually lets out right over there. You go all the way this way, all the way down, and then you gotta go all the way around all of this just to go back that way through the front of the queue of Monsters. So now we are currently in Diagon Alley waiting for the Death Eaters. As you can see, everything is creepy and green behind me. There's no set time on the app or on the map when they're going to show up. It's supposed to be random when they do. So them and Megan are completely random. It's very hard to find their set times or when. So you just kind of hop in here and hope to catch them. Maybe they're going to be out in a couple minutes, but if they are, I'll show it to you. I believe this is where the Death Eaters come out and then they go amongst the crowd in different places like Diagon Alley but I do love that it is decked out and it's really ominous green and purple up there. It's very creepy.
point of reference, it's about eight o'clock, almost close to eight o'clock, and we just saw the Death Eaters do their stage show. Oh wow, now we see one. <laughs> what? Death Eaters are going wild, bruh. Wild, what? Pumpkins. I'm David Pumpkins, man. I'm David S. Pumpkins. And I'm gonna scare the hell out of you. Now watch this. <laughs> Any questions? I'm scared. I'm scared. He's gonna They're fighting.
All right, so we are here to check out Megan's. Um, it's very randomly where they show up. Uh, they don't really have set times either. It's very random. It's very hard to like catch them. Um, even like the experts like April and uh, Xavier did not really know. So hopefully they come out. And it's not even Because only when you conquer your fear 
Are you ready to accept this immortal elixir? <laughs> you. Do you wish to be immortal? Yes. Come close. What is your name? Yes. Reese. Why, Reese, what sign were you born under? Oh, we do love our water signs, don't we? Lovely Scorpio. The water sign that wishes it were a fire sign. <laughs> Good friends, loyal too, but oh, so untrusting. <laughs> and those pesky emotions do tend to get in the way, don't they? <laughs> do you enjoy that? Enjoy a sign telling you who you should be, how you should be. Then break the chain that binds you. Only then will you be able to be a master unto yourself, beholden to none. And only then will I grant you immortality. What do you say? Yes. Louder. Yes. <laughs> you too can be as he is. Only if you accept fear. Those of you unable to, well, I have no need of you. You are unfit for immortality and unworthy of my mercy. <laughs> I know it's been a little while since we checked in. We are now in line for Exorcist, my first time doing it. And by the way, I just spoke to Dr. Oddfellow. Oh my God, he called me up to the stage. I, I have no words for how that experience was. Like, I'm gonna remember that forever. Thank you, Dr. Oddfellow. Thank you. Um, we also got to see the Megan squad do their little dance. That was cool, that was different. Wish it had better lighting, but it's whatever. Um, I still have Exorcist and Stranger Things to knock out. And then that is it for all the houses. I've done them all. So I'll check back in with you and let you know what I think of uh, Exorcist. All right, we just got out of Exorcist. Um, April, you, you've already told me to be prepared for what I saw, but I wasn't prepared for what I saw. Oh, whoo. Did you get scared? Whoo. I was in suit. I was freaked out. I wasn't like yeah, like it's like scared, uneasy. But there was some scenes in there. Oh man, the exorcism scenes. Yeah, Ooh, it's like those, very realistic. It's, it's a very intense house. I, I would probably say it's up there for yeah. probably the most scary. Uh, yeah. Maybe that. Maybe you only have one more house left to do. Odd so. fellow, maybe Last of Us could be yeah. a contender for scariness. If you okay. if you're new to this event, I don't recommend you do that first very creepy yeah um there's a lot to look at in that that house overall yeah there's and it's a not a lot, lot of like repetitive rooms that is like, true there's some variety yes, of these yes. iteration you start out in like a village but then next thing you know you're in all sorts of scenes you're like in a yeah. seance you're in a voodoo you're in like yeah. the hospital and like oh the hospital scene oh my god that yeah whew. I don't but know, I was too busy screaming. So I'm all in all, all these really solid house. Yeah. Um, way better than what I was expecting. Yeah, it was yeah. a surprise. Yeah. yeah. Of course, I had to get this at some point opening weekend. These are the pizza fries. Nothing has changed about them. Uh, they look just like you thought they would. But of course, <laughs> I'm not going to film that. April, of course, got this weird monstrosity again. But apparently it must be good. They didn't put the daikon sprouts on it today. And uh, no tomato. No, wait a minute. What? What did they have on it? Daikon sprouts. It's like little greens. Yeah. Oh, they had it earlier in the day. I will say that. So I had, had it earlier in the day. Sprouts. I feel like there's a little oh, less sprouts. sauce. Yeah. The guy who was doing it, he's not a heavy pork. So besides meeting David S. Pumpkin, right over here you can meet uh, the girl from The Purge. I'll try to see if I can get video of her tomorrow, but she kind of dotted off because the weather here, it started to kind of um, sprinkle a little bit. So she ran off. So I'll try to see if I can find her again. Look, it looks like it's snowing. 
Oh wow, yeah. It does look like it's snowing there. All right, so we are heading into the darkest deal. This would be my second time doing this house. So it's gonna be interesting to see if anything has changed for me, but uh, I'm excited, I'm ready. I'm ready to make a deal with the collector. All right, so we just got out of darkest deal for my second time of it. I enjoyed it yeah. just even more so, I think, than the first time, because there was a lot to take in in that house, especially this time around. I was definitely looking around, uh, definitely look up a lot, look at left and right. There were some things in there that was cool, like the, uh, the character that's like cooking. I didn't see that scare the first yeah, time not, not with to her talk about that. reveal. Okay, um, I, I don't want to spoil that. it. So the reveal was really, really cool on that one. But right now we are finally making our way to Stranger Things. It's going to be gonna my happen. first time seeing it in, what is it, 75 minute wait. Hopefully it's less because it's 12, 16 right now. I, I blame her for that. But anyway, I'll let you guys know what I think of Stranger Things. We'll see. Tomb. 